You're listening to Modern Mail Radio with Jared Zavistoski, right here on LA Talk Radio. What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Jared Zavistoski, and you're listening to Modern Mail Radio. This is all the stuff your mama should have told you and the shit your daddy never knew. And joining me tonight, we've got some guests whose names are so hard to pronounce, I'm not even going to attempt it. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves one by one and name off their accomplishments. Here we go. Hey, guys. I'm Camilla Banis, and I'm from NBC's Days of Our Lives. And... And wishing and hoping on Lifetime with Molly Ringwald and Chevy Chase and Hawaii Five O. And you're also nominated for and something kind of special. Next week, I'm nominated for a daytime Emmy. Ooh, that's kind of hey fucking guys. awesome. Thanks. So awesome. Uh, next. Uh, hi, my name is Lika Osipova. I'm the founder and producer of Miss Russia Los Angeles. I'm award winner of Role Model of the Year 2012. Whoa. Yes. How do you get that? <laughs> we'll get to that. Yes. Continue. And uh, I'm also working on my upcoming show, Mr. Perfect Gentleman. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay. And you? I'm just the perfect gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. We, we, we went outside. We got to stand in. Uh, no, Rod actually. the model perfect gentleman. No, I'm Zuhurology. I don't have all the accredits these young ladies do, but uh, I'm a banker, a restaurant, entrepreneur, average guy that just enjoys uh, being out. In the average guy who kills it in business and <laughs> runs around Hollywood and... I don't know. I, I don't want to embarrass you too much, but uh, I've seen you at uh, all the parties that, that I've been at. Uh, the good ones, the good ones, the classy <laughs> ones. Uh, <laughs> not, the, uh, not, the, not the after after hours uh, parties. So cool. We are going to be talking about, uh, it, it's crazy because when I, w the show has changed cast like four times uh, in the course of one day. Um, but I'm really happy with the cast we've got because we get a very, very broad perspective on something that we can all relate to. And that is the question, what is the modern gentleman? Uh, and I think that uh, that's something that's very, very hard to define. And how far back do you go with that? How far forward do you go with that? Um, and there, there are so many different things. There are so many different little factors. And it's like, well, should a gentleman just, you know, dress in suits all the time and be really stuffy and be really polite and really chivalrous or, you know, sh and there, there are so many different little things. So we're going to explore those tonight, guys. And uh, we're going to get to the bottom of this. And I hope my guests are ready to talk. I definitely want to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, she's ready to go. Yeah, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> she's been ready to go. So Lika is doing a competition on this. And I want to hear about the criteria for this competition. You can be the perfect Mr. Perfect Gentleman, I can tell you. So you have okay. a good look. Okay. Oh, I am. I yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> so wait, do I get to enroll in this? Like, if I enroll, is that cheating? Or can I, can I, can I, can I compete? You can. Woo! All right. All right. I'm, I'm so, with this. I'm with this. But, um, I'm to get my competing so, chest on. Uh, my, my Mr. Perfect Gentleman is supposed to be smart intelligent good-looking um, he needs to be very good in the kitchen okay so okay can so you cook is is uh, well that that remains to be seen <laughs> um, so is mr. perfect gentleman is this your idea of a perfect gentleman or is this a criterion that you came up with based on other people's opinions yes it's based on other pe people opinions okay and as I'm gonna be producer and one of the judge so I can tell okay okay <laughs> okay uh, I definitely think cooking is important um, that's one of the things that I haven't touched on yet I'm not a very good cook mm -hmm. um, but I know how to cook what I know how to cook and I cook that well cereal uh, I know I can cook steak. I can cook most oh, things that nice. like. Nice, you made it to level three. That's awesome. I would have thought that was level one. Oh my. But okay, I'm level three. No, no, now. no. What's sandwiches up? are two. Cereals one, and then okay. anything cooked is three. I can I, also boil water. I guess I'm oh. level two. Level two, level just two. sandwiches. That's it. Sandwiches. Uh, well, I mean. But, but I was kicked out of the kitchen every time I went. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I grew okay, up what about cleaning after the cooking? Uh, I, th I always heard that you clean as you cook. So, I mean, for me, it just gets messy in there. So I'm like, that is a really good answer. Just like, get it like all a star there. on that. <laughs> clean while you cook. That's a gentleman. Definitely. And if you're cooking good food, that's like not going to sit in your gut and, and traumatize you. Uh, it's not that hard to get up and do the dishes after. I don't really believe in the one, two responsibility. If I'm going to cook for you, we can kind of do it together and we can even clean together. Um, but honestly, it's kind of sexy to clean together. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. Th that's a girl thing, and I'm that's just saying, a you fairy. You don't have to have clothes on. Fairy. <laughs> I'm just saying. I would have to chime in and almost agree and disagree. Well, think about this. Do you really need to have clothes on to clean? No. So check uh, this out. Uh, I uh, do you actually need to clean? Do uh, can, you, can you can you actually figure do out you a way start to, and then you not or you just finish? Let it, or what do you do? <laughs> or what's up? <laughs> yeah, there's so many yeah. But in the other sense, there's, bubbles. There's also different cultural things. Some girls want to cook, and they yeah want yeah yeah. They that is want true. So it also depends on what a, that particular individual's want is. So yeah, real quickly, before you guys, before we, because this is going to go into something oh, else. Gotcha. Um, I, I actually added another 50 pages to the book and I decided I was like, okay, cool, I'll take that out. I'm going to make another book out of this. But one of the, the new tips and stuff, I, I was thinking about it and I was like, oh, wow, why didn't I add that? I've never gotten jumped more than when I had a broom in my hand. That's like, it's like girl nip. I swear to God, you start cleaning up it's it's over. I don't know what it is about a man with a broom or like he's like and not not in your house, in her house. Yeah. You go over to your date's house and you pull out a broom and you start sweeping her floor or something. Not in a not in a like a you know, <laughs> yeah, Toby, go over there. <laughs> Clean that floor, boy. Not in that kind of way, but just like I care about you and I'm going to take care of my environment. Women have a very very innate need to be taken care of. And there's something about a man that takes care of his surroundings, it's very comforting to them, and all of a sudden they're like, ooh. Even if you just grab my plate after I'm done and you know start <laughs> working on it. Yeah, put it in the sink. Yeah. I mean, I do that sometimes, so it's nice. To, to have to, it reciprocated. Yeah, exactly. it's nice. Yeah, okay. So, no, no, I, and guys, you can pick right back up where you left off with the cultural thing, because that's important. Yeah, it is. It just depends on what they want and what they're looking for. Like me, growing up in the kitchen was not allowed. If I go in the kitchen, it was, get out of the kitchen. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so. Well, I definitely think times are a little different. I think the majority of young women, I think, are, there's a bigger percentage that don't necessarily want to do those chores, well, you know? And, and nobody's saying it's true yeah. anymore because yeah. I agree. Like, don't get me wrong. I'll yeah. help you in the kitchen, but you don't yeah. want me to cook. <laughs> you don't want me to, you you don't don't want me to burn you, anything. You, you just don't want to eat my yeah. food. You're yeah. not going to enjoy it. But now if it's something yeah. that you enjoy, but don't get me wrong, we can go to almost every restaurant we want. Yeah. No, there's some mm, women that, okay. are, that yeah, say yeah. the same thing. You know, trust me, you don't want to eat my food. Don't you own a restaurant? <laughs> I do. Just opened up. See, this motherfucker over here. I'm and just a regular guy. And, <laughs> you, and you make sandwiches? I didn't say I was the executive oh. staff. <laughs> okay, I'm a business so guy. no, no, no. So here's here's how this works, guys. You can you can learn to be a gourmet chef, <laughs> or you can hire a gourmet chef. Both are equally as good. Owning a restaurant is just as good uh, as. as uh, I was gonna say, you can go fine dining. What would you like to eat? That's true. Mm -hmm. Right. And again, you don't have to be the expert. You have to have the resources. So real quick, guys, what do you think about that whole thing? Because like honestly, I, this is something that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, I've heard a lot that when a girl wants to go out on a date with a guy and a guy goes, hey, what do you want to do? Girl's like, no, I, well, you tell me what, what we're going to do. I don't want to. And I'm like, what the fuck are you hungry for? Like, is it that uh, hard? No. no, I'll tell you what. I have uh, the no, answer. no, what do you got? I, I have the answer. For okay. That. They want a man to be a man and be a decision maker. How do you maker. know? Be a decision no, maker. Actually, yeah, yeah. They want to be a decision yeah. maker. That's it. They, at the first date, they yes. want a man. They want to make a decision maker. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm the oddball here mm -hmm. on that. No, I want to man to be a man i want him to if he invites me somewhere i want him to decide where we're gonna go yeah. or he invites me to the date and like where are we gonna go i'm like mm, come on you, you you don't have any reservation already <laughs> well no reservations are definitely something but like when it comes to i'd be like hey would you like to do this and then hey okay i'll set it all up but in in just being like hey i, I don't i don't really care if you like sushi because i didn't ask you but we're gonna go have sushi right now and I'm a man though, and I make decisions. I just, I that kind of logic to me is like, eh, it's very chauvinistic. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I. That's not how it works in my relationship. Okay. I mean, I think we both kind of take the range as far as what we each want to do, and we take in consideration. And I think I actually am very, very creative when it comes to organizing dates, and I do that all the time. But maybe it works go. when yeah. you like dating for a long time. But oh if yeah, you just have you met, yeah, yeah, yeah. or yeah. it's a second date. If it's a first date, I think they right? want. But as a man, you're not going to say, "Let me take you to an exclusive sushi place where you have the odds that if she doesn't like sushi, you're messed up." Yeah. You take her to a place where or ask. you, yeah, you you can ask number one, but again, that's the whole question at hand is that's don't true. ask. So if you're not going to ask, take her to a place where you have a variety of food, variety of options, but has good view, has good ratings, and you know at least they'll be comfortable. Exactly. That's really what it comes down to. Yeah. I think it's details. <laughs> oh, look at you guys. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just like details. I don't think it's a matter of like who plans what because I know that when I'm on a date and he just out of nowhere just has this really nice thing that it was out of nowhere yeah, and yeah. totally looked like it was planned, but maybe it wasn't. That to me is the special part. Yeah, and that to him is the same thing. You know what I mean? I think those are the moments that keep it just the best. 
I mean, I again, I and I don't think I'm really gonna break on this. I'm never gonna be like, hey, yeah, bitch, you're sure. you, I'm gonna club you over the head and we're gonna go eat real, real quick. I, I'm just gonna be like, hey, these are the three things that I'm hungry for. You want Thai or steak? Yeah. Or, or do you want do you want sushi or da da da? Awesome. Give her two choices. She goes, oh, you know, sushi's good. Cool. Perfect. Bum. Then I'll take care of it from there. But I, 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 I just don't, the whole force feeding. And my mom's like this too. She's the one that keeps bringing this up. She's like, I don't want, I don't want to have to decide what we're going to do or da, 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 da. And I'm like, I'm literally going to plan my whole day and spend all this money to make sure that you have a good time. Yeah. Some preference would be appreciated. So don't fuck it up. Yeah, I do get that a lot. But that's, but that's the problem. That's where that's where the lack of confidence yeah. of you mm -hmm. fucking it up is why they don't want you to ask. They mm. want to know you're going to close the deal. You're going to take them out. You've got this plan for them. It doesn't matter exactly. if it's yeah, your, yeah, even yeah. if you go to space. I don't yeah, care if yeah. you go to place because you're comfortable there. You take them to an environment they truly want to be comfortable, safe, and secure, and they can finally open up. They can have. That's what the dinner is for. They've already got their nails done. They went and got their hair done. They went shopping, got a new dress for that yeah, day. Yeah. They've already dropped 100 or 150 bucks before they've even come on that day. <laughs> so take them somewhere Fair nice. Fair enough. Take them somewhere nice and make sure that they have a choice. That's really coming I out. guess the other thing is I'm sitting over here thinking like I'm going to put a lot of effort into this, right? This is I'm and I never take a a girl on the same date in the same place twice ever. So I've got to find a new spot that's got good ratings and da da da. Cause I'm never going to, when you go out on a date, it's like, I mean, obviously there are casual dates where you're like fucking and shit, but then there, there are dates where like, you're like, Hey, there, we might share the rest of, spend the rest of our lives together. And I'll never fucking live with the fact that I took you to the same place that me and my ex-girlfriend used to go all the time. Like that's kind of, Oh, she'll never let you live with that. If she ever finds it out, <laughs> fuck what you, fuck how you feel. It doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, have you ever been in that situation? Yes, I have. And oh. the reality is, again, it's the moment you're having with that individual. How may, Because you're different with me than you're going to be with her. You're going to be different. Mm -hmm. So it's that intimate moment that you create because there are places where you had that moment and that girl remembers that was our first date. And when you take her back there again, she has those memories that she feels like that first yeah, of date course. moment. So, Emotional so, anchoring. Exactly. So there's a lot of, it just depends on girl I think it's really really different. but what if you about? had taken another girl there before oh, yeah, that's again if it's your go-to place yeah you might have a little trouble with that what about the people yeah. that work there because that's kind of awkward now what like if they see you come in for a while with the same girl and then all of a sudden you come in with a different girl and they're just like making you coffee okay, so or you oh know it's like, kind of a giveaway when they're like awkward? oh hi hi, hi. awkward or what okay, for like no, guys here, here's the question then. Bit. I'm no, sure it's awkward bit. for girls yeah here's the question that's so my restaurant my go-to place is going to be my restaurant obviously obviously so, <laughs> now, so now the question is am I this this so now I'm done I can't take any girls no 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 you have you have the ultimate yeah. outpass yeah okay that, that doesn't even count yeah. got it yeah Very no you story <laughs> but the first thing that a girl's going to ask is, oh, I bet. Well, the girl's going to be like, oh, you have a restaurant. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. I, oh, don't, I don't want that care. either. I don't care. Yeah, no, she's not going to give you. You know, shit. my funny thing is I go, I'm an investor. Remember, <laughs> I want my money back. I don't yeah. want to have a free food. I'm here for making money. That's true. <laughs> that's great. The food is excellent. But that's, excellent. Why, Come that's eat. why you don't cook because you're smart. You're a businessman, you know? I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, she's going to love it and appreciate it. And come on, you, you know, you okay. know. Um, but yeah, no, the other thing is, uh, when you, when you get familiarized with a spot and everybody knows you there, then the first words out of a girl's mouth are, do you bring all your dates here? Oh my Lord. And, and, and why not say yes? If that's really the truth. Oh yeah, no, I definitely the truth. think they should say yes. If that's the truth. And if a girl gets upset, then honey, they, it's the honest truth. And life is hard. You should get a damn hell in. And only that, you know Sorry. why? You, know why? <laughs> if you think that that guy hasn't fucked every other girl or a bunch of other girls. You're then dreaming because every guy's fucked girls. I mean, you can't just like be like, oh yeah, you've never had an ex. No, you're, I mean, Obviously, they're going to have an ex and you have and to deal with it. The funny part about fucking girls is that women actually like it when you fucked more women. I don't know about that. <laughs> no, I've, if, I don't you, even know. if you've only been with like fucking three people your whole life, the first words out of a girl's mouth are, I want, a girl, I want a guy with experience. But I don't but, know. Would but, you guys date a guy that's been with three girls? I don't necessarily like to know how many girls. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, like, I'm just, I don't care. If you have experience, you're going to show it to me in the bedroom. You're not going to talk about it. And trust me, I'm not, I'm not Put gonna up shut I'm up. not going to feel good if he's going to tell me that he had like 200 girls. Probably. Yeah. You know, it's not cool. That's why as a man, it's smart to never keep count. This is one for, for my boys out there. Just stop counting. That way you, you always get to be honest about the fact that you don't know. <laughs> for, all for all my girls out there, same thing. <laughs> yes, that's actually smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like they were never a notch on my belt. I'm just uh -oh. saying, I stopped counting a long time ago. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. 
Okay, so what are, what's uh, what's criterion number two? Uh, about Mr. Perfect. Mm -hmm, Mr. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so. So are we gonna take the cooking out? Though? Can I say one? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, no. I, are we taking the cooking out because I can't cook? <laughs> I I think I I don't think that it should be a per what prerequisite for a man to cook. I do it think it's an added bonus. Yeah, it's I an added bonus. I think it would be an added bonus if he can pick out a great restaurant and I cuz I mean I'm I'm the same way. If he's into good food. Yeah, I'll be because like, "Hey, look. Not I got five Thai spots in the general vicinity that I can take you to and I've rated them all." Like, "What's up? I I could definitely get you the the best fucking food that you've yeah. ever had, but if you leave me to cook it, I'm sorry. Yeah, but imagine a guy that doesn't <laughs> doesn't have a a good palate or an acquired taste for all different types of food and just has the same thing and doesn't cook. Yeah. It's like what what are you gonna do with that? That's boring. Exactly. Just not eat. So at least something. No, then you go out with your girl seat. I actually <laughs> got I, I forgot this. I actually got cast for worst cooks. The reality show. Yeah. I actually was a judge on Top Chef. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah. That would have been horrible had I ended up in front of you. <laughs> but I, I learned fast. I just I Cooking overwhelms the fuck out of me. Like, there's no possible way. Like, when I see all of this stuff, and I'm like, oh, God, I got to do all that. Have you cooked with a girl ever? Yeah, we just kind of end up, like, bumping into each other. And at some point, I'm like, okay, you got this. While you're playing music and being cute with each other? Yeah, but then there's no sweet. cooking. Then I, and then butt naked? Like, yeah, yeah, I could I probably. You don't have to be naked. But then you don't eat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you end up feeding each other. You basically Fair end enough. Up with, you end up with dessert only. Okay, all right. I mean, I and there have been times when I've sent girls to the kitchen because I didn't want to deal with them for an hour. And I was, they're like, you want me to cook you something? I'm like, yes, please. I'm not even hungry. I'm going to go throw up real quick so I can <laughs> eat this. All right, one more criteria. Okay. I would say, it, from my experience, a, a guy that still opens the door or the car door for me every once in a while is nice. What do you mean once in a while? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be every time. Well, I mean, that seems a little okay. bit excessive. But, you know... Special times, or even times where unexpected times. That's nice, you know? See, yeah. we just talked about this, and I do it quite often, and a woman actually pulled over and, like, literally stopped her car, made her husband stop. See, honey, this is what you should be doing. I've had that. I've had that. <laughs> I've had that happen. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going, that's a little embarrassing right I've now. had that happen to me. I've had people come up to me and say, you know, congratulations, he's a gentleman. Well, but but, but yeah. my uncle does that still to this day for his wife. I mean, well, and he's been doing it forever. And that's a beautiful his, thing that's, that, that is, we were taught. that is an old gentleman trait that can be I don't translated care about into it. modern times. Here's the thing. I don't care about it. This is why it's women, true. this is why women like chivalry. And actually, chivalry is inappropriately defined. We think that chivalry is just uh, being a gentleman. It's not. It's actually kind of like a Bushido honor code. Right. Defend the weak, da, da, da. Uh, realistically, just, just general manners, make a woman feel cared for. Now, I was at a sushi restaurant where you have to take your shoes off. And w unconsciously, me and my ex, were, uh, we were walking out, and she, she went to go put her shoe on, and she like, kind of had, had to brace herself. And I, and I got down on my knees, and I put her shoe on for her. And to me, it was, it was just second nature. I'm like, cool, she needs help with her shoe. I'm going to do this. And I love her anyways. Like, I was, you know, I would have fucking licked her feet. Come on. I have licked her feet. Um, but it's funny because some dude was like, this fuck, like, I just totally, totally demasculated him in front of his girlfriend. Like, why didn't you? And then some, and then his chick next to him slapped him. And she's like, you should be doing that. Put my shoes on. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> but it's great because it's like, it's that whole care thing. Like, I'm going to take care of you in your, my, my environment. But do you think that comes from being brought up in certain ways? Because like, just while walking here, I'll give you a compliment real quick. I noticed when we walked in, when we're walking down the stairs, you put your elbow automatically out for her and she made sure, mm -hmm. right? We all made sure the doors were open, whatever. But that also comes from upbringing. But then there's the other, there's other women that don't want that. They want the guy who is the rock star, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And The fuck you, yeah. Yeah, I just want that mean, dirty guy. That's bad just, guy. Yeah, I want yeah. the bad guy, not, you know, not the... the I think I even being it's, a bad boy with a, a little bit of manners. Because this is a pro <laughs> rocker bad boy and uh, not so much. But I will say on my end, I am definitely, I want to copyright this before I say it. I don't know how I'm going to say it because I want to I want to say it. You heard it here first, guys. But, uh, but it's, something, it's something along the lines of having a translation of a, gr a, you know, a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets. Mm -hmm. Same thing for girls, I think. Absolutely. If you're a good guy and you show me in the real world that you're a good guy, I'm so going to be attracted to you. And if you're a bad boy in bed, I am so mm -hmm. going to be attracted to you. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think 
for me works where I have respect outside and respect inside the bedroom, but just in a different dirty kind of way. Um, so that's well, that's my to, take on that. Uh, no, but it doesn't necessarily be dirty. It just means that you guys connect there, yeah, and that's really what it yeah. comes down to. Or even to just me. a bad boy. It's, Sometimes I want him to not treat me so nice. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So it's it has to do with him not doing all those nice things that's that he true. would normally do right. for me. You know what I mean? Uh, e- even just to be as soft and caring <laughs> as I want him. Well, see, to the be, thing you know? is, there's a balance, and you got to learn to do when and where. And I actually talk about this in my book about you know Prince Charming was a badass who wasn't afraid to bitch whip a dragon, <laughs> and you know he wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty. He looked great in a suit and he did his thing, but he was always running and, and chasing, and you know he was well groomed, but he was actually a very very uh, dominant alpha male in that sense. Um, and, you know, the other thing is uh, with uh, fucking shit. Some bad boys on the outside can't perform when they get inside the bedroom. They're not such bad yeah, boys. Yeah. They lose all that bad boy persona when they get inside the bedroom. It's all of a sudden it's gone. I'm like, oh, wait. But being an like attitude, a being a bad boy is an attitude. It's a state of mind. It's, yeah. it's you know, and it's like. I'm perfectly chivalrous, but at heart, like I'm very, very edgy. I break rules all the time just for the fuck of it, because it looks fun. Um, you could do. You mean like fighting yeah. wrestling at parties? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I actually wrestled with your business partner at a party. <laughs> Everybody's like, they're fighting, they're fighting. We're like, no, no. I just found another wrestler. We're going to, you know. I found somebody to fight with. Yeah, I know. It was fucking great. And the next day I woke up and I was like, dude, I'm sorry. And he's like, when you want to, when you want to go to LA Fitness and kick it back, bro? I'm like. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, uh, guys love to do that. Just get together and like wrestle each other. It seems very sexual. Yeah, I'm no, just it's, saying. it's not. It's like it's like what we do. I don't know. What it's it very, very bizarre. It's from like the an same thing when girls are kind of like, oh, hey, and then they finally oh, and find like, that. Some of the parties and like naked together and stuff like that. No, they just oh. click and they touch each other and they're like, oh. well, they're all like, oh, <laughs> not in a sexual way, <laughs> okay, gotcha. but just like. You know, you walk up to a girl and she's like, oh, hi. And she yeah. starts touching your arm even and stuff. Or hugging. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, giggling and my stuff. My favorite line for women is, she's my new bestie. Besties, Aww. yes. Aww. When that Besties. moment happens, it's the same thing as a guy meeting another guy and going, Wrestling? let's wrestle. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, and it's more the fact that they're at a party and there's a lot of beautiful girls and they wanted to show who was the male and the alpha. Because oh. mm-hmm. they wanted, because at the end of the day, the girl who likes the male tough guy is going to I would them. go for the one that loses. I'd be like, See? do you need... And then and and that's perfect. Exactly. And then there's the other one who's gonna say, "I want the winner." Yeah. And everyone wins, (laughs) and they both win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's definitely a dynamic to that women being attracted to winners, that alpha thing. But oh yeah. This day and age, I find that winning at anything, I find that you know being a good boxer is great, but then being good at business is actually a thousand times more alpha to a lot of women because. Anybody can throw a punch, and you can get better at that, and da, 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 but it's, it, it doesn't serve any functionality that benefits a woman other than you're is. coming home with a black eye. But when you're good at business, it's like she gets to enjoy the accolades from that, so of course she's going to think that that's a thousand times better. So you heard it here first, tough guys over business guys. Uh, business guys will make it 100%. Or be a tough business guy. Hey, you can have both of both worlds. But I mean, don't be a, an alpha, aggro, do, over dominant douchebag. Some women like that, but it was because they were abused as kids. Yeah. Um, you know that that whole hashtag yes. trauma. Stay in the corner. Um, anyways, so <laughs> what's uh, so we got the what was the second criterion? Uh, for my show, yeah, uh, he's supposed to be very talented. So he's supposed to have some talents. So the definition of talent <laughs> is something that's born within you that is innate. So that's kind of fucked up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wasn't chosen, so what the fuck? Yeah, like, what was it? So I, I think it, um, it's funny because Will Smith has a great quote on this, and he says... I was just going to say yeah, that. Yeah, right? Okay, go for that it. Go for it. will die on a treadmill? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. You this is the one. You probably know it better than I do. So he said, uh, your talent will fail you if you don't have skill, and skill is beating on your craft every day. Yeah. Uh, and, he go, and Will Smith does this whole motivational thing online. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I've seen yeah. it. We've all seen it. He just says, you know, he says, I don't necessarily think that I was born with the most amount of talent, right? Mm-hmm. But... Hard work is gonna beat that talent any day because you put me on a treadmill with any single person. And this is how he says it. He's like, and I will die before I get off that treadmill. I don't think it's quite Or whatever he says, whatever. He's just really passionate about it. He's just like, I will die. I would die or something like that. When you become a really famous actress, we're going to have to go back and we're going to, ha- you know, you're going to meet Will Smith and be like, oh, yeah, da, 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 Hey, Will. It's so and, inspiring. And you have I'm to so show him this. And, but you have to show him the face that you just made. Okay. And be like, <laughs> I will die. Oh, you know, because yeah. that was like really, that was. Uh, well, you know, I'm expressive. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so talent. Um, yes. You you mean that he has to have refined himself into something that matters in some way. Mm -hmm, exactly. He has to have some exceptional quality. He must care about something. Okay, yeah, exactly. Passion equals talent. So wait, so if I love children, how do I show that as a talent? Well, it depends on if you're creeping in their windows or if you're teaching them to color. Oh, and, you know, <laughs> for, for Mr. Perfect Gentleman, you're supposed to do it in one minute to show your talent. So it's like a homework. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. That's kind of different. Is talking fast a talent? Because <laughs> I can do that very well. You can show right now? Yeah, no, I'm, I've been talking quite fast. <laughs> I don't think it's a talent. <laughs> kind of part of this. No, okay. Well, so wait, what do you consider a talent? That's yeah. kind of broad and vague. Uh, dance. Something unique, not like... Oh, I was a stripper. I'm in. Social. <laughs> <laughs> or I can dance salsa, so we're good. There we go. Gymnastic. I don't know. Or uh, maybe like acting, something to tell like some something like drama thing or comedy. That's the, so something perf a performer. He's mm -hmm. got to have a joke or something. Okay. Well, um, yeah, it's a competition. So, I, I mean, you've got to beat out some people. Exactly. I think you got to broaden that one a little bit. I agree because I don't have those talents. Yeah. I can't sing. I, can, only, I can dance. But you I'm have, not, like, you have a hobby, some, something you like to do? You got jokes? Some. So maybe you could do like a stand-up. Yeah. But I don't think that – I think my jokes come more from – The cuff. The, yeah, exactly. And gotcha. it comes from like – the environment or what's kind of funny and who I want to make fun of at that exact moment in time mm -hmm. and versus, yeah. What about, do you know how to tie a bow tie? Actually, I don't. That's the one thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to add that as one of my criteria no, for no, modern it should be, gentleman. And it should be, but you know what? I have all the instructions really and, I've, and I try. It just uh, comes out mine are too fast. Know. Sorry, the clip-ons just don't no, do, do it. it for oh, me. No, you can't. Sorry. No, I'm with you. I learned how to tie a tie on YouTube. Or I, tie literally, like you the need to. like the first try while I was going to an event, and I'm like, okay, I got one shot at this. And and uh, it was uh, there's some really really cool uh, tie uh, tutorials Nuts. online, yeah. like at Eldridge, and uh, yeah. there's like this diamond one, and they're all like really really cool. It literally like, is going to take for bow tie too, just half really a hard. day. Yeah, half a day for you to learn a couple different knots, so that your girl can be like, what <laughs> is that? But that I is can awesome. I can tie a couple yeah. ways of ties, though. That's good. I can do a perfect tie. Actually. That's good. Perfect. That's a good perfect. thing to have. My dad taught me Just that. the bow tie thing. Just the bow tie thing. I don't think that that should be a deal breaker. You know, I let's know, add I it as a bonus. I actually sad enough to say Let's I, add it as I, a bonus. I, you agree? I almost agree, because do you know how great a guy looks in a bow tie when he's dressed up to the T, and if he tied it himself, how much more sexy that is? But I'll be honest with you. You know who used to tie my bow tie? Your mama? My grandmother. Aww. So now, how, you know. Well, and that's a, a very, very good excuse that'll make any girl's heart melt. So you, that's, that's. <laughs> I know. That's one on one shit yeah. right there. <laughs> yeah. It's the truth, though. That's the very reality. Good. Let's add it as maybe like a, you have to know how to tie your own tie. So wait, what if, so what if we're going through this competition and there's a guy in there and he can sing like nobody's business, right? He just belts. And then you got another guy who walks up and he's like, well, I can flip a bunch of quarters from my elbow into my hand. Yeah, who decides I mean, what? Or how would I, how would someone like me come up and go, you know, there's a guy that can on the spot sing and it's, it's, it's emotion, it's music, it's awesome. And then I walk up and I'm like, well, I wrote a book, but it's going to take you more than a minute to read it. Uh, <laughs> How do you? How would you uh, judge but the two you, talents? But you, can you can pick the like best moments from your book and to tell it like uh, in one minute, and it's also gonna be like very impressive. Like wow, this guy is very talented. Mm, I want to read this and book. I want it. And, yeah. yeah, that's you know? a good one. Yeah. Interesting, you but how? Would it, but how would somebody guy like me? Um, I have. I'm not the best salsa dancer. I'm an average guy, and I don't have that many. Do talent. you like to dance? I do. Okay, so you can hire the choreographer, so, and he's so gonna. Go, so go hire for yeah, for and make that my expertise. Got it. Okay. Yeah, and I, hey, yeah. this is a competition. Remember, <laughs> <laughs> survival of the fittest. I'm just gonna say that. Well, I would say this. I mean, if you re if we're really gonna go go into talents and stuff, I, if everybody else gets to go with their talent, then I have another talent, and I could walk up, and I could probably beat the shit out of all the other guys on stage <laughs> in a minute. So pretty sure you'll get arrested, but No, but I'm saying like that would be my talent and I would win. So You I, probably wouldn't win just because you'll get arrested, but You'd have to catch me first, my woman. My talent would be how to have him not hit me. Exactly. And how to put everybody how to dodge. else in front of me. So I don't yeah, I think we gotta revise this talent thing a little bit because honestly, I'm serious. If I go up there and even if my delivery is perfect and it's stand up fucking awesome and it's the stuff that I wrote from this book 
it's still not going to go over better than some guy that gets up there and sings like fucking no. Adam Levine. Or plays Levine. a guitar. No, no, no. Or yeah, he's going to win. He's going to win. Because we look at America's Got Talent. Let's look no. at any other co- Guys, competition, right? If, if he, Singers. He, 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 you're supposed to be very um, creative when you're going to come with the, like maybe like uh, new tours. And with, this, uh, <laughs> I mean, like neck, not like whole body, half, and maybe like um, just with the uh, tie and with your book, and everybody gonna look at you and you're gonna say something very smart and it's gonna be like something very different from the other guys if you uh, have something to show. I mean, do you she, have abs? Yeah, that, that's what she's asking. Really working on them. You okay, know? well, if you have abs, then yeah. you don't need a talent. <laughs> That's what she means. Yeah, but I think yeah. everybody else is good. Well, so if everybody has abs and then one person has abs and can yeah, sing. Yeah, but you have abs and you have a book and you have uh, something else. A b- mm, that's true. But wait, I have a restaurant and I should not have abs. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of an oxymoron. I'm trying to think of a talent for you. They must have super good food. Yeah, what would be, what would be your talent? That would be a good question. It is sad that I'm actually being live saying that I have no talent. Negotiation, well business I negotiation. I don't know you well enough. <laughs> um, I think truly it is my talent really would be to children. I can make almost any kid smile and like just Ooh, have a show one. us. What would you do to make a child I smile? I have become a kid all of a sudden. It's, I can't, I don't know. So probably that will be super so endearing. I just, so I would just take 10 k- random kids from the audience and say, come up on hey, stage. Hey, we're going to do a demonstration. And let's have some fun. Uh, it's not going to be kids at Can the I show. say something? That mm. might be really sexy. Yeah, I was gonna say, very like the the maternal thing comes out of yeah, the woman. Yeah, that might be really sexy. It's like, wow, he's really great with kids. Okay, so what's the uh, fourth? Wait, what are we on? Third, fourth? I forget. But what, uh-huh. what's the next one? Uh, answering the questions from the judges. Very tough. Okay, so you, you got what kind of questions? What kind of yeah? Tough. Tough. Like, just give us an example of one. Like, for example, I don't know your favorite um, your favorite book. Or it's not a tough question, but uh, it like um, describe the um, one of your favorite characters, and it means that you read in the books, you know. Oh yeah, and yes, that is one yeah. of the qualities of yeah. a modern day gentleman to stay smart, yes, and intellectual, exactly. to well read. It's actually something that I've been practicing because I noticed that my vo- uh, my vocabulary goes through the or roof. Or your favorite quote. When I read. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Favorite quotes. That's great. I actually wrote one, but I'm gonna okay. save it for the show. Okay. Because <laughs> if I say it now, somebody will copy it. Um, but no, no, I, I'm, I'm a writer. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. That's actually pretty, that's actually a good question because my books would follow in one. My favorite two books would be Nurture Shop, which is a child psychology book. Mm-hmm. I'd tell and you then, a lot about you. And the second one would be How to Win Friends and Influence People, which tells me about sales and how to make friends within it. interaction. Stale Carnegie, right? Yeah. Uh, got it. So you, you see, can. that would be very interesting um, for me. Let's just say I was judging to hear from you because then I would piece together your talent Mm -hmm. and your questions and maybe the looks that you've shown from the competition and that could basically overall make it or break it for you. And I also think poise and charm when you put on the spot. Oh, of course. Yeah, definitely the way you you conduct yourself. yourself. And uh, you know, you might be pretty good at that. Let's get you a little forward so we can actually hear you. (laughs) There we go. Talk into the mic. There you go, sorry. Cool, awesome. So what's the next little bit? Swimwear. What? (laughs) Swimwear. Oh, so basically it's a, it, it's a meat, it turns into a meat market at the end. <laughs> We're going to see how well you rock the swimwear. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's next? But, but wait, 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 let's talk about that. Let's talk about what's the criteria in the swimwear. Does the guy have to be like six pack? Can I say my, I have like mm. one guy swim, swimsuit story and it's my boyfriend. Okay. So we're at the Grove, Zara, and we had been shopping a little bit. He was looking for, a, you know, a swim trunk or whatever. And uh, I wasn't really sure what he was looking for. He's very um, into style and he's very conscious yeah, yeah. of all of that. And so he's very particular with what he has in mind, what he's looking for. Yeah. So we make it to Zara and we see these like black swim trunks and they're actually quite shorter than what he's used to. He's used to more of like a medium length and this was just kind of like above that. Okay. So he's like, okay, cool. Let's let's see. Let's try it on. Grape smugglers. Yep. <laughs> you know. So um, so he he tries it on, and as soon as he opens the door, I don't know what face I made, but he says he will never forget the face that I made because he says it was the time where he felt like I was the most attracted to him in our whole relationship because I literally saw him in these trunks and I don't know why my feet I just was blushing so much and I just was shy all of a sudden and I was like 
you should get those shorts. Um, they look great on you. I can't even look at you, but you, I mean, I was rambling. Total, yeah, like, yeah. five-year-old, like, just nerdy. And nerdy, let's nerdy. talk about that, the debasement of male sexuality and how men are kind of been pushing, 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 pushing that. Now we're kind of coming to a place where we're kind of letting off. And women are seeing that it's not socially unacceptable to lust over a man. Or be like, oh my you gosh, know? you have a great butt in that. Your yeah. butt looks awesome. And I want to like hit it and just bite it or something. Or just like, I don't know. That sounds like a male, yeah. what a male would say. Yeah, exactly. But but he Which looks fabulous. Fantastic. But, that's fantastic. <laughs> but exactly, but it's fabulous because he, that's the, the modern day gentleman. You know, it's finding that balance of the modern day lady, you know. The modern day gentleman looks good in a banana hammock. What are you guys? What are you guys' opinions on man thongs? I don't like the ones that have like the one sided. You know what I'm talking about? You know, like those like one side, like oh. the ones that just like it's just. just yeah, we're right talking here. about extreme and, man thong. Yeah, just like the one. Oh. Yeah. I don't. I don't like those. I, okay. Oh, me too. It depends where you come from. Like for me, I'm still like the old school. You know, board shorts, go hang out kind of guy. Me too. Yeah, I don't do I'm the long, long, long because ones. Because I'm more, I'm gonna be. If I'm going to the beach, I'm doing some sort of sport. I'm doing some sort of activity. So for me, trunks are not about. I'm gonna go lay at the beach and look good. I'm going to the beach because I'm going swimming, surfing, yeah. diving. Yeah. The, uh, I'm going running. I'm climbing. I'm doing something. But the better like I the look, long, long the more gay people think I am. What's that? The better I look, the more gay people think I am. And I get it enough as it is where people are like, "Oh, you gay." And I'm like, no. Uh, so the second I start wearing stuff that gets tighter and like more definitive, people are like, okay, you're definitely Okay, gay. let me ask you a question. What's up? Do you have tan lines from longer shorts? Because that's a turn off. No, no, no. I go in tan and I've, you See, know, See, but then the that beach. becomes an issue. Then you have to, then that's like, like primping. You got to go tan because you're wearing long shorts. It's like 10 minutes. Or I just lay out in the backyard naked okay. for my girlfriend <laughs> I mean, to watch. I, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just trying to find all the little, you know, hidden nooks and crannies of all these swim trunk I, lengths. And you know what? At some point, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of balls to the wall. So if I'm out and I'm tanning and, uh, you know, I happen to be laying down, I'll, I will pull my, my, my shorts low. down yeah. pretty fucking low to where it's almost inappropriate. But I'm like, look, if you're looking that hard. And a little up, too. Just so your thigh can get a little bit Oh, yeah. Up all too. the way up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's nice to go a little bit I really bit don't have to work on a tan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're good. Fair enough. Fair enough. And it sucks because, uh, you know, white people, we actually like, our, 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 it feels like our face changes shape. When we're, when, we're, uh, when we're super, super pale, it's just bad. It's like, it's pasty. It's ugly. It's not good. And it's crazy because girls get to paint on their tan. They can, yes. you know, it's not just self tanners. They've got makeup and all that other stuff. But for guys... You're just stuck with it, you know? And it's like, I've I've experimented with tanning salons and stuff, but there's nothing more unattractive than a straight male with those little goggle marks. <laughs> and it's like, he's like walking up and he's like, what's up? Yeah, I'm really into me. Look, I went and tanned. You know, it's just horrible, horrible stuff. I was I just like, like tanning at all, take so. the goggles off a little bit. Yeah, no, I stopped tanning like that anyways. I, st I started natural tanning. Uh, the way I figure it is, if, if there's a machine that can nuke your skin in 10 minutes, to the to what it would be if you were in the sun for two hours, probably not good for you. Yep. Probably not. It's a microwave. Yeah. For people. But not only that. It's yeah, good yeah, to yeah. Get, it's a microwave. It it's, is. It's good to get sun. I, I'm gonna take a baked potato in there next time with me. Yep. It's good to get sun. It's good for your See body. You think about it like in terms of food, being at the beach is like being in an oven. It takes much longer. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to sit out there. It's really hot, uncomfortable, whatever. If you're in a tanning bed, it's a microwave. You know, it's a quick ten minutes. You're out. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I never thought about Both it like bad, that. Both bad, but you know, one does more. There we go. Bad than the other. And I mean, I, I definitely, I, I recommend that people either do, they do something, but like, I mean, when guys go crazy with self tanner, or I mean, like, I, I hate to encourage somebody who doesn't already get it to do something and it's gonna fuck it up more, because <laughs> like I, but I definitely want guys to care about getting out there and doing yeah. better things with their. So guys, I mean, I've even played with self tanner. Uh, to not the best results. Let's just say I didn't go anywhere that weekend. Um, <laughs> natural sun. And I've also heard yeah. that sunshine, uh, having a, a guy with a tan reminds women of like somebody who's out there working. There's like something like, there's something primal about that. Like she's like, oh, he's been out. He's foraging. He's hunting. Yeah, you mean he's not inside just doing nothing, watching TV and just getting paler? Yeah, Is yeah. that what you mean? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Could be that. Yeah, it's Could that. be that. It's that. Okay, so what's the next criteria? Um, yeah, the next competition, it's a black tie. 
So uh, who wore it, who who can wear it better? Style. Who, yeah, who can uh, show his style like um, brutal style? I like oh, that. brutal yeah. style! Yeah. I like that. I, I hate to say it, I love for that. the modern mm -hmm. modern day gentleman. So wait, do you provide a bunch of wardrobe choices and they get to pick and see who mix, mix and matches? Yes, yes. Ooh, mm -hmm. there we go. Okay, and what's uh, I actually like that one. That is interesting. Because now you get to dress how you feel the best in your it, own skin. It's and fair. Feel, and yeah, it's absolutely because a man can look fantastic if he's fantastic <laughs> feeling, right? If he's yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wearing, yeah. yeah. Certainly. That confidence exudes. Do you guys have a tailor on the process? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, so not only that, but they get to tailor it to him? Perfect. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. Female. I like that one. So what's next? <laughs> and the presentation. So. Um, the perfect gentleman need to say something to the audience like hey my name is like uh, Jerome I'm 25 years old and uh, people need to feel the energy hey what's up guys I'm Jerome and I'm 25 <laughs> that, like that kind of energy I felt it I felt the energy no, no, no. yeah did you feel like the, I felt, I felt everything it. was pulsing and vibrating no, 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 there. No, no, you, I mean no, no, you're no. gonna win it you know or how about now this? if I walked up and I said that right to your face just <laughs> ah, no. no no okay so what kind of energy are you talking about like Hey doll, my name is Jerome. Uh, you look perfect uh, today. And like, <gasps> okay, uh, we need to video this, and that'll be the tutorial for everybody. <laughs> but wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I have, I, I'm sorry. So I have this like, this comment that I make. It's called psycho versus in love. So the guy, close your eyes, the perfect guy. You're in love with him. He shows up at your house with a hundred roses, playing the mm. loud boom box with your favorite song, and he's confessing his immediate love for Are you. Are there fans blowing in his Everything's, hair? everything's perfect. Oh it's just God. like the movie. Fans. And you're going, oh my God, I'm in love. Now it's the guy you don't find attractive. He's doing exactly the same thing. What are you doing? You're calling the cops. <laughs> <laughs> so Jerome has to be the guy, the girl has to find Jerome attractive in mm -hmm. advance because no matter what Jerome does, unless she's attracted to him in the first place, it's either, oh my God, or, Oh my God! Same thing goes for exactly. men. Absolutely. I mean, I I'm sure you have encountered crazies that have probably knocked on your door. Hey, hi! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh I yeah! I found it. I found a chick I broke up with. Didn't even know she was in my house and she was doing my laundry. And I'm like, I walk in and she's like, I could be a better girlfriend. And I'm like, what the fuck yeah. are you? You doing? gotta make sure they give you these sex eyes and you give them these sex eyes. Yeah, but then not it's consensual. Not too much on the sex eyes, guys. Like <laughs> seriously, especially girls when they're like they're trying to be seductive but they're a little socially awkward and they're like, yeah. Hi. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa. Okay, so basically, a girl looking at you deadpan is kind of a sex eye. When a girl looks at you and stares for longer than a second, that's and just a I'm little I'm dying squint. as to what you think a sex a sex eye is. I think that that's oh hot. Oh my, okay. Deadpan, okay. Like just like like when when you're walking away and, and a girl turns turns over her shoulder and just kind of looks at you. Really interesting. That's hot. Yeah, when a girl's like <laughs> oh no no no! It's no, fucking no, retarded. No, no, no. Especially that I'm gonna do that for you guys over here. Hold on. Of the kissy face, <laughs> like duck face. That duck face has got to get eliminated it's from go. all these little tween girls, because then they're turning into adult young women and, and still like, doing it. Yes, they're hi. still doing it. Yes. Ducky face. Exactly. We need to get rid of it because. So it's do not you cute. like the duck face? Oh, we gotta no. you gotta no? hit him with that look. I mean, it, a, a so look, a girl spends most of her time at the club avoiding guys, avoiding getting hit on. You know, transitioning from avoiding getting hit on by creeps. Yeah, but most of the guys are either creeps until proven proven innocent, uh -huh. or yeah. So everybody there's a creep until proven innocent, Not and so they're basically trying they're to you. receive a either a good moment. Yeah, but I mean they have in order for a guy, in order for you to be into me, I have to make that initial jump. So I have to have said something or engaged something. So basically the whole. So what time, if there's no saying? What if we're just in a club and I see you and you see me and you're you think I'm hot and I think you're hot? What happens then? Oh, I would tell if you th if you thought I was hot, I could tell. Exactly, yeah. but that's the point. That that girl has got to give you the consensual sex size, and the guy has to give you the consensual sex size. For then, you guys can come together. So either where the guy comes to you, or the girl, if she's ballsy, comes to you. So are the consensual sex size then are is are there levels to that? Because oh, I've definitely. seen I've seen girls definitely. like rape you on the dance floor sex size, and I've seen like kind of interested. I've, I've, I've been on all sides of the spectrum on okay. the sex size. So I think as from experience, there are definite levels and I think there is an appropriate time for each. I think eye contact in general 
if because I mean, ninety percent of the girls I see at clubs are just kind of like they're trying to avoid. And then if you meet a girl's eyes and you smile and she smiles back, boom, you got it. Uh, if you meet a girl's eyes and she looks away and starts to smile and giggle to her friend, you got it. Um, you know, there are a whole bunch of these different little, yeah. but I, it's all about eye contact. And I agree with that. Is there that little moment where both of you guys freeze? Yeah, like so cat. Okay, so now. Sorry. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play devil's advocate just to play along. Yeah. I'm in agreement with you. I have to have some sort of connection. It doesn't matter what mm. type of connection. Something, smile, look, touch, whatever, conversation. Because you could introduce me to somebody that I never would, thought I was attractive, like completely physically, 100%. Yeah, yeah. But then all of a sudden you s see that smile or something that they said all of a sudden goes, wow. Changes this, it. Yeah, You're like, that. fuck. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but the other side of it is I have an individual friend that said, no, it doesn't work that way. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, watch. He went to a girl, she shot him down. He wouldn't take no for an answer in the sense of still a gentleman, still polite, still considered, gave her a space, but continued to communicate with her. Perfect. And until, and then five minutes later, he's like, here's my keys. Mm. She said no, completely, on the dance floor. I'm here with my girlfriends. All six of us are dancing. We're here for our girl night. Definitely. All yeah, sudden, and that's a perfect and, and, example and, and of good said, game. And he said, no, I'm going to stick around, converse with her a little bit more. And got what he wanted at the end. Yeah. He, yeah. I definitely believe in tenacity. And I mean, there's definitely a fine line because I think a lot of guys are tenaciously going after girls just like kind of, ah, and they're, con they're continuing to hammer girls. But yeah, that's the only way no doesn't mean no. Like no means no. Respect her right to choose, re respect her right to say, hey. But the only way that you're even going to have a possibility of taking or, or of meeting her or dating her or taking her home after that is if you, cont if you actually pull what I call long-term game. And right. that is just being an upstanding person and kind of always being in your space and display what she's missing. And then at some point, you were. I think that's, I think the one word that I think it comes down to is confidence. The girl really likes a guy who feels comfortable in his own shoes. And the same thing. Uh, and the I same mean, thing a woman. Yeah, yes, I mean, when you, when you see, you know, as men, you see a woman come in looking good and feeling confident. I mean, it's very attractive. You Absolutely. know, it's it's same thing goes for men. When you see a man walk in and they exude confidence and they feel comfortable in the room and they're just Definitely. talking to everybody and Absolutely. all of that, that's, it's very sexy. It's all the women want that one man that is exuding that confidence. The comfortable guy. Yeah. And they're much, much better at reading body language. We have no clue. But the rest of them, they're all like, oh, that's the guy. As far as when you were mentioning, um, you know, going up to women and um, even when you were mentioning the story, one of the things I must say, though, that many modern day gentlemen lacking so much is, I would say, creativity as far as approaching a woman. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. And this is great. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I really it's so uncomfortable for me as a Cuban young woman like i would never gym. do what like a was i would never grab somebody and be like hey yeah. people already expect me to be a player they all expect me to be a douchebag so the first thing that i can do is throw them off guard by being funny and quirky yeah. a little bit and be like hey um i'm gonna hit on you for like two seconds is that cool okay mm -hmm. cool da, 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 da. and then we go and and slowly you kind of work into it be charming and and cute yeah the, the, that's my the, game the, i used to always ask what's your favorite cartoon <laughs> Brings them right back to the Everybody childhood. needs to find something. Every Brings them right back to the emotional childhood. Yeah, but that's why women like Prince Charming because of Disney cartoons. Yeah. And that's a wrap, folks. <laughs> oh my God. And it just came full circle. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't want to cut you off. And then we're going we're gonna to wrap. Okay, cool. No, no, you. Oh, uh, no, I don't know what you were saying about cartoons. But I mean, everybody, everybody, every guy, I think, or and girl, if you are into um, being a progressive woman and hitting on men which I think I, is amazing. Uh, I think everybody needs to find their own way of, of doing it. I mean, I, I get every day, I don't know about you, but every day at the gym, I, it has to be once every day. Just the total nothing there, drooling, like you're <laughs> hot, that's it. You know, it's like, it, how is that one comment going to make my life better that you're gonna give me? How is that gonna make my life better? Well, if it's not, I don't probably want it. Wait, can I have the magic word? Mm, that's a good <laughs> can one. Can I have the magic word? Yes. Yeah, so I could say it to the, every woman. Go ahead, give it to me. We yeah. like to <laughs> what is it? We would like to know. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's a magic word. I think it's more of just energy. You know, when, when you get a guy that...
that is respectful. A, and don't hit on girls at gym. Uh, they're yeah. working out, so fuck off. That's my philosophy on it. Yeah, you don't want to go there. I say that, but I nice. actually hit on. Uh, I've actually hit on girls at gyms, but it's it's been it's very very. It's an attractive very... place to. It's an attractive place because we're we're all people that are trying to be better. Yeah, but see, I see a girl, and I go. A lot of girls are insecure. So when you walk up to a girl, you're sweaty. She's not even thinking about that. She's thinking about how sweaty and messy, and her makeup's not right, and she's oh, gonna really? run anyway. That's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking more. Yeah, like, you're confident. Uh, you're co my headphones, I would have to take them off to listen to what oh, you're saying. Oh, you're one of them. And like, I, I really just, I, I have an hour and I want to go to the sauna also and I don't have time for you to hit on me for me to say no. Okay? Cool. Um, unless you thought Brilliant. He, unless you thought he was attractive. Well, even then. Even then, then I would be like, probably be like. You might take your headsets off. I might. You may be, I might, you may be might, open might, to that might, conversation. I might, for a I second. Might, I might. I might. I can't lie. So can't there you lie. go. So get your buff on in the gym before you start approaching girls. But then you see the guys in the gym that are like super, super buff and they think that they well, own everything. Well, at least don't do the douchey thing, you know? They walk up and be like, hey, you're doing that wrong. Do you want me to help you? Da, da, da. And she's like, it's Here's like. my best one. My best line yeah. at the gym. So, uh. So you work out? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, people actually say that to you? Okay. I've had that. Yeah, at the 24-hour gym on Lancashire. People have come up to me and Way said to that tell people while where you I work was out. at the gym. You know, I work out at the same gym, actually. Oh, yeah? yeah. I mean, I post them on my – I check in after I leave, so I never check yeah, in. Yeah, I've never there. seen you in there. <laughs> she doesn't really work out. <laughs> She's lying. I was there today. I was there all day. Oh, I wasn't there today. I was in today. there getting my, my swole on. <laughs> I wasn't there today. I got a competition going on with this fucking, I got to get, I got to get this eight pack going on. Okay. I'm going to check. You, you, do uh -oh. know they say, you do know they say abs are made in the kitchen. It is true. That is yeah. true. In the uh, gym. I'm actually on a true. really, really strict diet right now. It has nothing to do with working out. I mean, I've been hitting the gym hard, but that's because I have a photo shoot. So I have to look all sexy because uh, on my Instagram. They can, they can Photoshop. I need to find a good Photoshop guy then. That's a Model mayhem. Genius. I'm getting some fried rice yeah. after this. Hollywood Productions, baby. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay, guys. We are almost done. This is a great show. So um, real quick, we're going to go around and I'm going to, where can people find you? What do you got to promote? Uh, right now, I just want everybody to cross their fingers, hands, toes, mm -hmm. everything so that I win an Emmy um, next Sunday at the Daytime Emmys. Uh, mm -hmm. If you guys want to check that out, that's on Pop TV and um, all the info's online, but you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere with the same handle, which is just my name, Camila Banis. Camila Banis, and you can probably see that right about here above her head. Um, and, uh, and you know, write some really cool stalkerish fan mail or something, not to her, but like to the Emmys threatening to like bomb them or, I don't know, not, not maybe not bomb them. That, maybe that's you can have me extreme. come back and some people get asked questions. And no, but I mean like, let's, let, I mean, if, if not, don't just vote. Like, like, you know, write, write a letter to the Emmy people Not and time. yeah, I mean, get in there. Like, like, let's, let's Thanks. That's sweet. start a movement. It's I'm kidding. Sweet. It's sweet. That, but I that mean, was, it is oh. a big deal. It's like, I, it's, I'm the only Latina on my show. So it's a big deal for me to be nominated. So then you should definitely win because it's, uh, what is it? Politics. Ra <laughs> racial discrimination. <laughs> otherwise. No. Right. We could, we could play a girl. We're I'm in just California. Saying. Everything's. I might, I'm, Yo, gonna say, I'm gonna say though that my uh, the scenes I submitted were pretty cool. They were pretty great. So, oh, okay, yeah. awesome. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, look her up and follow her and all that good yes, stuff, guys. Yes, please look me up. And Lika. Yeah. So um, as you all understand, I'm getting ready for my new show, Mr. Perfect Gentleman. So more information. Yeah, you can avoid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So more information you can find on my website. It's likaospova.com. Find me on Instagram, um, Facebook, like my page, and um, and stay tuned. There we go. Wow, where can you find me? Okay, so the Gallery Restaurant in Westlake Village. Uh, business consulting, I guess that's really about it, and media marketing, so hollywoodproduction.com. You got the name, hollywoodproduction.com? That's awesome. That's you know, uh, well, I, I had a meeting with Max, and he said the same thing. He's like, I'm all about getting the best dot coms. He's, and, uh, I'm not going to lie. He, I'm, uh, he's a very talented individual in his field. He works very, very hard in his field. I feel so privileged to be friends with you. <laughs> Yay. Uh, well, I'm, I'm privileged to have a CEO like that so he can keep working hard and we can all make money. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I got uh, – that. I, that's who I ended up wrestling with was the CEO of <laughs> – Hollywood Productions I'm the in the middle of an after party. <laughs> and I'm the one selling tickets for that fight. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, that was, uh, it could have been Anybody a, a crazy night. It was a crazy night. Um, cool. Well, uh, as always, you can find us at uh, methodologythemodernmail.com. You can find us, just Google Modern Mail. Uh, Instagram, modern.mail. 
Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe below. We need more subscribers. We have this every week, guys. Um, and then uh, Twitter, mail methodology. Uh, you can pretty much just Google Jared Zavostowski, and I'm like three pages deep on Google. I'm pretty important these days. No, I'm just saying. Um, okay, guys, <laughs> that's it for night, folks. Thanks for tuning in to Modern Mail Radio. You're listening to Modern Mail Radio with Jared Zavistoski right here on L.A. Talk Radio.